Hey everyone, welcome back. This is my review of Higurashi Wind Cry, episode 19. And the madness continues. I gotta tell you, she only gets a lot of hate in this series from what I've heard, but I like her because, you know, you can judge me all you want for saying this, but when there's someone who's willing to commit all these horrible acts simply for the person that she loves, I have a huge amount of respect for that person, okay? Again, you can judge me all you want for that. I really don't care. <laughs> That's just the way I feel. Um, and really, I, and another thing, I feel her family deserves it. Like, the only one that maybe she could have been a bit more lenient on would be Mia. Uh, but her grandmother? What a worthless piece of garbage that bitch is. Serious, or was, rather. Seriously. Like, what she got was too good for her, as far, as far as I'm concerned. Okay? Seriously. What a worthless piece of shit. Anyways. Once again, another fantastic episode of Higurashi. Neon is by far my favorite character in the series right now. I'm not even kidding. Like, <sighs> God damn. Just the stuff she's willing to do for the person she loves. And the thing is, I really, I'm getting a few hints that maybe she doesn't want to do this to her family, or at least she doesn't want to do this to her sister and as well as Keiichi, but she's doing it because of how madly in love that she was with Ho or with, with well, Hojo, I guess, but with Satoshi, okay? And also, seriously, why, I mean, I agree with Shion. Why the fuck does, Sat, did Satoshi ha, and her, and uh, Satoko have to suffer so much just because of what their parents did? It's like, seriously, it, it baffles me, okay? It really does. I'm on Satoshi's side here. I really am. <sighs> Dear God. Like, if I was in this series I and I found out what she was doing, I would support her and help her completely. I, I, again, judge me as much as you want for that. I really don't give a fuck, okay? Seriously. I mean, and unless she does something serious to change my mind, it's going to stay that way. That being said, once again, a fantastic episode, seriously. Like, it's getting darker and darker and darker. So much happened in this episode. She not only basically kidnapped, or well, used a, like a stun gun or a taser or whatever it was to shock Mion and locked her up, killed her own grandmother, and beat her and whipped her. Again, that scene was probably my favorite because she deserved everything that she had, and you know what, she deserved so much fucking more. <laughs> so, yeah. Again, what a worthless piece of garbage she was, honestly. And then that other guy she also tased as well. I'm not sure if he's dead or not at the end of the episode there. Um, which was kind of weird because it seemed like that she would actually really like him and she wasn't going to kill him or at least torture him. But at, at the end after she said that, that about Sato, she, that was her breaking point for that. Like, you, you do not badmouth Satoshi in front of her. You just fucking don't, okay? That's just something you don't do. And obviously, that guy didn't know that was Shion. That guy thought that that was Mion. Okay, because Shion was pretending to be Mion. Are they really trying to confuse you with these fucking names? Seriously? But anyways, though. And also, Shion does plan on dragging Keiichi into it and making him disappear. Now, what does that mean exactly? Who knows? I mean, obviously, she doesn't control Oishio's curse. In fact, it's kind of unconfirmed at this point if the family actually did control it or if they just knew about, knew about it and didn't care. But either way, though, she does... I'm, I'm guessing that she'll either kill him or that she'll torture him or that she'll just keep him locked up so that everyone thinks that he, that he disappeared. Okay? And that's pretty much going to be that. I'm pretty sure that's what she meant by it. Unless she does find a way to control Orishiro's curse. But either way, though. Um, yeah. Really, like, fantastic episode, okay? And 
she's really starting to lose faith in her sister now too, Mion, because Shion's starting to lose faith in Mion now too, because Shion suspects that Mion lied to her the entire time, okay, when she told her that everything would, I mean, she already found out that everything would be, that, that her grandmother lied to her about, because apparently the three fingernails were for three of her sins, but they, they weren't, one of, there wasn't one for Satoshi. And, you know, obviously if she would have known that, she would have chose to do four. So that one would have been for Satoshi, but her grandmother never told her that. And I'm guessing that Mion probably knew that, so that was a lie. Also, when they were united with each other again last episode, Mion told Shion that everything would be alright, that she, all of her sins are forgiven. Shion's just not realizing that that was a lie. Uh, whether Mion is intentionally trying to hurt Shion like this, who knows? I mean, really, I, I honestly don't know. Like, normally I'd be able to at least come up with some sort of a theory on it, but I really can't this, this time around because I really don't know. Okay, it's really a mystery to me. Exactly if Mion is really that awful just like her grandmother or if she's maybe done some things wrong, but for the most part she's innocent in this, oblivious to what her grandmother was truly planning. That's very well possible as well, but again, like, I feel sympathy for Shion completely. Okay, and I'm on her side here. Of course, this is Higurashi, so I doubt it. I doubt, so I doubt things are going to end well for anyone in this series. But that being said, tell me your thoughts about this episode in the comment section below. I thought it was really fucking good. This series just keeps impressing. Once again, the only thing, two issues I had in this episode was the art and animation. That's it. The art is generic, and the animation kind of sucks. Other than that, it was fantastic. Seriously, I cannot wait for the, that cliffhanger once again. <laughs> and I cannot wait for the next episode. So anyways, overall, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. These after you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.